Okay, so in your math assignment today, you're going to look at 163 and you're going to complete the page for 163. Make sure to answer the information next to the apple in a complete sentence. Okay, then on the back, we're talking about our strategies today of doubles, doubles plus one, and doubles minus one. Get your math journal out if you need a quick review. Remember what doubles means, what doubles plus one means. So in a doubles plus one fact, the second add end is one number higher than the first add end. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Okay, so it goes up like stair steps in a doubles plus one fact. In a doubles minus one fact, it goes one down. The second add end is one less than the first add end. So five, four, seven, six, 13, 12, okay, eight, seven, that would be a doubles, an example of a doubles minus one addition fact. Now don't get confused, because it's called doubles minus one does not mean that this is a subtraction fact. It is still an addition fact. But the second add end is one less than the first add end, okay? So think about that. And on model and draw, on page 164, we have an example here of a doubles plus one fact. The second add end is one higher than the first add end. So to solve this, we can think three plus three plus one. Three plus three is six, and six plus one is seven. So three plus four is seven. This fact is an example of a doubles minus one fact because it goes down one. So we have seven plus six. So to solve this, we would think in our head, seven plus seven minus one. Seven plus seven is 14 and 14 minus one is 13. So seven plus six is 13. So on your assignment here next to our little turtle with the blue shell, I want you to color, okay? So let's get out an orange and a yellow crayon. And let's do our doubles minus one in yellow and our double, or sorry, our double doubles plus one in yellow and our doubles minus one in orange. So we're going to look at number one. Here we have two plus three. The second add end is one higher. So this is an example of what, everybody? Um, double plus one. Doubles plus one. So I want you to highlight that second add end, okay, in yellow. Doubles plus one. So next to one, or right here, just write D plus one, okay. And two plus three is five. And a doubles fact that you could use to solve this is two plus two equals four, okay? So this is always the add ends in the doubles fact, the first add end in the problem. Okay. Let's look at number two. We have four and five. Our second add end is one higher than the first add end. So we know that's gonna be an example of what, everyone? Doubles plus one. We're gonna highlight our second add end yellow for doubles plus one. 
we're going to write d plus 1 for doubles plus 1. And then the math, the doubles fact that I'm going to use to solve this is 4 plus 4 equals 8. And I'm going to think in my head, 4 plus 4 equals 8 plus 1 is 9. On number 3, we have... 4 and a 3. So our second add end is 1 lower. So this is an example of a doubles minus 1 fact. So highlight that 3 orange. Okay. This is a doubles minus 1 fact. And we're going to write 4 plus 4 here is 8, and we're going to think 8 minus 1 is 7. Here's number 4. We have 6 plus 7. Our second add-on is 1 higher. So that's an example of a doubles plus 1. I'm going to highlight that 7 in yellow. And then I'm going to bring down my first add-on. That's the doubles fact I'm going to use. This is a doubles plus 1. So I'm going to think 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. On number 5. I have a 5 and a 6. The second add end is 1 higher. So this is going to be what? Doubles plus 1. I'm going to highlight that yellow. Okay. And I'm going to bring down my 5. So I have 5 plus 5 equals 10. This is a doubles plus 1. So I'm going to think 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. On number 6, we have 8 plus 7. Our second add end is one lower. So it's a doubles minus one. I'm going to highlight that orange. Okay. This is a doubles. I'm going to label it doubles minus one. I'm going to bring down my doubles fact. Eight. Plus 8 is 16. 16 minus 1 is what? 15. So that's what goes here. You're going to finish writing that down, and then you're going to complete 165 the same way. Make sure your name is on it.
there's a little frog on it and you're going to highlight. So doubles plus ones are going to be yellow and doubles minus ones are going to be orange. And remember you look at the second add end. So if it helps you, you can go through and color the add end first and label it. Okay, but you do need to label all of these. So for example, five plus four. I'm going down one. My second add end is going down. So I'm gonna highlight that second add end orange. And I need to label this a doubles minus one. Then complete the assignment like we did the other on the other pages. Okay, you can watch the math on the spot for this one. And then on the back, make sure to show your work and read carefully. Okay, thanks for working hard. I will see you soon.